the myths surrounding Elizabeth Taylor have long been larger than life. There was always something about her that gripped the imagination of her fans. Her legendary violet eyes, her penchant for priceless jewels, and her eight marriages enough for anyone to be enchanted with Liz Taylor. Taylor's stardom redefined the cultural idea of what a celebrity meant, pioneering a modern conceptions of the word, complete with paparazzi, publicly scrutinized and adored relationships, struggles with addiction, and the use of her platform for activism. She began her career as a child actor in the early 1940s and by the 1950s Elizabeth Taylor had become the most popular Hollywood cine star. She remained a very popular star and a public figure all throughout her life. The British born star was made a Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire by Queen Elizabeth II at the age of 67 in recognition of her significant influence. Elizabeth Taylor got married a whooping eight times to seven different people. She got married to Richard Burton twice and divorced him an equal number of times. Her first marriage to Conrad Nicky Hilton the Jr. happened in 1949 when she was just 18. But the very next year in 1950 they got divorced because of alcoholism and the abusive behavior of Hilton. Taylor met the British actor Michael Wilding on the sets of Evan Ho and proposed to him. He was 20 years her senior. They were married for five years and had two sons. Eventually, their age gap and different career stages began to take a toll on their marriage and they separated amicably in 1957. In the same year, Taylor married Mike Todd, a film producer 23 years her senior in Mexico. Tragically, Todd died in a 1958 plane crash a mere year after their wedding while aboard his private plane named the Lucky Liz. After Todd's death, Taylor converted to Judaism as a way of honoring her late husband who was Jewish. On Larry King Live on CNN, she said, I quote, I needed after Mike's death some very strong faith to keep me alive, something to hang on to. I didn't find it in Christian science and I wanted to be close to Mike. So I studied Judaism for a year after his death and then converted." Unquote. Mike Todd was one of her three true loves of her life, the other two being one of her husband's Richard Burton and, of course, her jewellery. In 1959, Elizabeth found herself in a strange love triangle. This was the year she married her fourth husband, Eddie Fisher, who had been Todd's best friend and also the best man at their wedding. Making the situation more complicated was the fact that to marry Elizabeth, Fisher abandoned his wife, Debbie Reynolds, who was not only Taylor's best friend, but also her maid of honor at the Todd Taylor wedding. However, despite the ensuing media scandal, the two friends rekindled their friendship in 1966. Many think that Richard Burton, her fifth husband, was the great love of Elizabeth Taylor's life. Both the actors met each other on the sets of Cleopatra and almost immediately fell for each other, despite both being married at the time of filming. Their affair caused a massive scandal across the world, so much so that a Georgia congresswoman tried to ban them from entering the country again. They both divorced their spouses in order to marry each other in 1964. 
Taylor and Richard Burton stayed married for 10 years. But their marriage was as scandalous and scrutinized as their affair. Known publicly as the Battling Burtons for the intensity of their fights, they regularly broke furniture, screamed at each other, and even came to physical blows. Their extravagant lifestyle was also a frequent source of media speculation, with Burton buying Taylor millions of dollars worth of jewels, expensive pieces of art, a private yacht, and a plane, and several homes. In almost a roller coaster ride, Taylor and Burton divorced in 1974, but within the span of one year, they married again and divorced again the second time. Despite such a tumultuous relationship, after Burton's death, Taylor said that she had always expected that they would end up together again. Elizabeth Taylor described herself as a romantic who was willing to change herself to make her husband's happy. In an interview with Harper's Bazaar in 2006, she was asked if she thought women dress for themselves, all women or men. Taylor simply answered, "I think men." And she added, that she herself always thought of pleasing men when she got dressed why not please someone you love was her simple question jewelry was one of her great passions in life and elizabeth taylor collected spectacular pieces of jewelry in addition to designing her own line she even authored a book called my love affair with jewelry in 2002 to commemorate her love for priceless baubles i could jewelry doesn't belong to me i'm just its keeper unquote she told michael cause who interviewed her for harper's bazaar all her husband's gifted her expensive earrings necklaces brooches and bracelets and taylor herself too bought a huge number She had a staggering collection of 1778 pieces of jewelry that was sold for more than 150 million dollars at Christie's auction after her death. Elizabeth Taylor once gave a statement in an interview with Rolling Stone that quite startled everyone. She said, I quote, "But I had my own identity and I probably was the biggest manipulator of all time. I got my own way so cunningly. Yeah, I was probably the biggest manipulator ever born. Unquote. Elizabeth Taylor lived a fascinating life marked by hardships and exploitations. but she simply resolved to work harder and maintain the highest work ethics often dubbed the most beautiful woman in the world her acting prowess in films like a place in the sun cleopatra who's afraid of virginia woolf and cat on a hot tin roof awed and impressed audiences and critics alike many illnesses and her drinking and smoking habits finally ended her life on 23rd March 2011 in Los Angeles. Vincent Canby wrote, I quote, She's someone whose entire life has been played in a series of settings forever denied the fourth wall. Elizabeth Taylor is the most important character she's ever played.